What's up guys, James Dean here. Hope you're all good and are managing your way through this very weird time we're all going through at the moment. Uh, for me, I'm currently back in Ireland at home, uh, where I'm very lucky to be really because I have my own workshop here, literally two minutes from my house. And for once, it actually gives me a chance to kind of catch my breath because the last few years have just been absolutely crazy traveling from event to event, uh, so many events in every season. and. There's very little time in between events to catch a break and I guess show people what I get up to in my spare time and when I'm not in the car. So I'm quite heavily involved in drifting myself on and off track um, back in Ireland where we have um, this workshop. It's As I said, it's at my home. Uh, it's also where we build the cars, maintain the cars, sell our 130 merchandise from. So quite a lot is going on here and it's always kind of developing. Over the last week, we've actually had a chance to organize quite a lot of the things and parts, and fixing up a lot of loose ends. And uh, yeah, it gives me a chance uh, to show you guys more of what I do. I wanna show you over the next few weeks uh, a lot of what I get up to at home um, as we have this free time on hand. So let me show you guys around, see what you guys think. So this is what we're currently working on this right now. It's about to be my office, but more importantly, first thing to go in here was the new simulator. Uh, we managed to get this off at Digital Motorsports in Monello Park. Um, it has Fanatec wheel, um, NRG custom James Dean 130 steering wheel, Corvo seat, um, this sick curved screen. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a lot more about this in, the, in an episode in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, gonna get my office set up in here be a nice tidy setup just to uh as i currently kind of work out of the house at home and um my brother's workshop dnm sport is at the other side of the yard and it's quite can be quite a busy place so this will be very good for me to sit down and uh, focus on emails paperwork all of that stuff when i'm not inside the car this machine the original uh worth house drift team s15 which we used in 2017 and 2018 Lucky enough to uh, win the championship back to back uh, is a very special car for me. Um, I actually know this chassis for, I would say, almost 10 years. Uh, my friend Martin O'Mara, who actually paints my Falcon cars and all of my cars over the years, uh, he bought this chassis. He was going to build it as a drift car and it basically sat next to the spray booth where all of my cars have been painted over the last 10 years. And I always wondered what is going to happen to this car and uh, when we had the opportunity to join Worthaus Drift Team and build S15s for the US, this is the first car I thought of and we got in touch with Martin and before we knew it, we were getting stuck in building the car and less than six months later we were on the top of the podium in Long Beach which is just an absolute fairy tale story. Probably still my favourite event to date but um, yeah, the guys at Worthaus and the Drift Team and the team owner were kind enough to actually gift this car to me um, after the first two seasons. So it's a bare shell, no engine. Um, I put on some wise fab and things that I've had lying around the workshop uh, just to get it rolling and looking like the car that was. But my actual plan for this car is to rebuild it to the way it was and uh, just kind of have it. Like the sentimental value I have in this car is incredible. Uh, you'll actually probably learn that about most cars I have. I, I just love having them and love looking at them. And you know, you can come out here into the workshop and sit down by yourself and just have so many memories of what you know the whole journey from start to finish. So I, I love things like that. But this car is definitely very special to me. Um, over here we have some of the latest uh, 130 merchandise. So these are the T-shirts that have been on the website for the last. Uh, Last couple of months and uh, finally we managed to get the uh, new onesies. These are really, really cool and uh, 130 hoodies as well. So we have some Falcon tires and 720 wheels here. Uh, this little girl, um, we built this Mazda RX-7 back in 2009 and uh, used it in the Irish Drift Championship for, for a few years and used it with a lot of, in a lot of the Falcon tire demos. 
across Europe. We still use it until now, really, because it's a really fun car to drive. It has a um, Mazworks 2.4 uh, SR20 with a VVL head, revs 9,000 revs, and is making just under 600 horsepower. So it's a really fun car to drive, and uh, it looks just absolutely sick. Like, I love, love how it looks. It actually sounds quite like a rotary, which is uh, really, really... I don't know, maybe lucky. <laughs> um, it's running the Big Country Labs rear wing, 720 wheels. Uh, here we have a new shipment of 720s for this car, the uh, Falcon Tires E92 Eurofighter. So this car is pretty much as it was at the Autosport show. So we fixed it up after the crash. Um, we had the crash in the final round of Drift Masters last year in Mandela Park. So it's all fixed. It's running the new 720 wheels. I quite like this style on the car, actually. Um, yeah, fixed, looking really good. Um, we've been working on testing the, the power steering on this car, and uh, so far, so good. We've been quite lucky to fix the issues that we had with the car last year. So next plan with this car is to Put it on a little bit of a diet, move some weight around, um, go into a smaller fuel tank. I'll be able to bring you guys along, hopefully, when we're, when we're actually doing the work to the car and upload as much as we can in the next few weeks. Uh, we got a lot of new parts in at the moment. So Brian Crower, new sponsor this year. Uh, we're running their cams, valves, uh, everything in the head, uh, JE pistons. Um, we have, a, that's a sweet crankshaft, actually. It's a... Uh, uh, three liter crank, uh, lightweight from Brian Crower. So, looking at putting in that in one of the engines. So, when we're actually building the engine, my brother builds the engine, uh, Mike at DM Sport. So, um, we'll take you step by step on how we, we build the engine. Um, here we have some ACL Race Series bearings. Uh, we've been running these bearings for uh, years uh, in all our engines and they're absolutely bulletproof and I've been lucky enough to welcome ACL as a, a partner to us as well uh, over the last couple of years and uh, they're excellent to work with really really cool people and uh, give us great support so yeah that's the E92 what else have we got coming up so as I was saying I'm at home and with this with this virus it's uh there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment with when are we going to be back at the track. So yeah, like I'm dying to go drifting, so the sooner we get back on track, the better. Uh, but until now, we can't really do anything with anyone. So I managed to buy myself this uh, Suzuki Jimny Jeep. Um, it was absolutely spotless, but uh, we've been doing some off-road. More on that later. As you can see, we've been having a bit too much fun, but uh, really quite fun. It cost me 500 euros. Um, I put a set of Falcon uh, modern snow tires on it and off road, really fun for jumping and flat out stuff. Over here in the corner of the yard, uh, we have this E92, which I managed to buy for just over 3,000 euros. Um, so I'm using this as a project car. Another video on this, we added a few things. I, I can quite sure you can guess what I put on the front. Um, very the idea with this car is it costs very little to buy and we're gonna see how far we can take it to you know is it maybe the next best you know car to start learning drifting in because they're getting quite a bit cheaper have a lot of power a lot of strong parts and uh, really fun to drive so that's pretty much it for the first video on my youtube channel please guys leave a comment let me know what you'd like to see and uh as i have a lot of free time on my hands i'm going to try to show you guys as much as possible and uh yeah i really personally can't wait to get the season back on the road for those of you guys that are wondering uh once ft starts off again and myself and peter can hang out we'll be uh doing the usual candy machine videos but uh everything from my side here at home i'm gonna share with you on my own personal youtube so thank you guys for watching uh i'm gonna be, i'm actually looking forward to doing this with you guys and uh seeing how much fun we can have while we're going through this really weird time. So see you guys soon. Thank you and take care.